If you're like me, you've been waiting for Oceanhorn on the PlayStation Vita. I originally started the game on PS4, but it's just not the type of game that I want to play on the big screen. It's just more of a smaller experience that I prefer on a handheld, especially my Vita. So I decided that I'm going to only play this game if it came to Vita. And I was lucky enough to actually get my dream to come true, because just weeks after I'd, I told myself that, this developer tweeted out, hey, if you guys want it on Vita, just vote right here on this on this tweet. And a lot of people wanted it, so I was super excited. So even though I had it on PS4, I only got in about like two hours or so, and I just stopped, and I decided I'm waiting for the Vita version. And now the Vita version is here, and what can I say besides it's awesome? As you all probably know, it's a Zelda clone, but I don't think it goes overboard in copying Zelda. But don't get me wrong, it is a blatant ripoff, but Zelda's an awesome series, and I always ask myself, why don't developers copy games more often? If we've learned one thing about this industry, it's that people love playing the same types of games over and over. We've seen other attempts in the past that sometimes pay off for the developer, and other times that it doesn't. I just have a hard time understanding why we don't see copycat games like this more often, especially of Zelda. I mean, I know there's other games like Zelda, like Darksiders and like even the Batman Arkham games, but none of them are just blatant, this is what we want to be, we want to be The Legend of Zelda. So I actually, I gotta give it to the developer Corn Fox and Bros. I appreciate what they did. They copied something they love, which I think is perfectly fine. So yeah, if you're looking at the game, you can see it's almost like unbelievably almost on par with the PlayStation 4 version. Version. The game is really pretty on the PlayStation Vita. I expected some like a lot more dumbed down graphics and for it to chug and just have a bunch of slowdown, but none of that is the case. The game actually runs splendidly and it it really surprised me. They did do like some some things that aren't very noticeable in the graphics, like they are dumbed down a little bit, I'm not gonna lie on the PlayStation Vita, but there, there are things that you wouldn't really notice unless you were playing the game side by side with the PS4 version. Like for example, one of the things is, is like when you're sailing on your boat, the clouds in the sky aren't there on the Vita version. It's just like the backdrop, basically the painting of the sky in the background. And I thought it was perfectly fine because I thought the clouds kind of looked wonky in the PS4 version, so I'm glad that they kind of got rid of them because they, they just kind of looked weird. But there's probably other stuff too that I haven't really noticed because like I said, it's hard to notice the difference. The Vita version though is beautiful. It's just super cartoony and honestly like one of the best looking PlayStation Vita games in my opinion just because the art style alone, obviously because it's influenced by games like Wind Waker and A Link Between Worlds and stuff like that. Just looks really nice on the PlayStation Vita. So, otherwise, I mean, I, I wouldn't know why you were here unless you wanted to know how the version on the Vita was. Obviously, there's other reviews of the game uh, all over the internet. It's it's basically Wind Waker meets a, a Link Between Worlds meets its own fresh new ideas. If I had to say some things I didn't really like, I thought I thought the combat was kind of uh, too simple. It's it's basically just the sword play from the Zelda games, but there is other items and stuff that you get. But it, I didn't think it was executed perfectly. I feel like it could have been a lot more fun if they added like ways to dodge and stuff like that. But you can shield, and it's if you've played any Zelda game that's top down, this is exactly what you're getting. The game also implements puzzles as Zelda would, and you can explore, find new things, and uh, and finally, one thing I have to talk about before I go. Because like I said, sorry I didn't go in, in too in-depth with the gameplay, but you've probably heard about this game everywhere else. So I'm just going to talk about the Vita stuff specifically. And uh, one thing that they added was touch uh, gameplay, not gameplay, but like touch mechanics in the menus. That is exclusive to the Vita, as they said in their press release. Um, obviously it's on the iPhone version, but the Vita version is the only version that can actually use buttons and the touch menus. So I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, other than that, the Vita is a brand new trophy list, so if you already platinum it on PS4, you can platinum it again on PlayStation Vita, which is really cool. It's a really easy platinum, only takes like, what, 5 to 10 hours? Um, especially if you follow a guide, you can just you can just crank through it, and it's, it's still fun, honestly. 
And uh, unfortunately, there is no cross save. I was hoping that maybe I'd be able to pick up where I left off on the PS4 and jump into the Vita, but there's no cross save, just to, just to let you know. But there's a whole new set of trophies, so if you already played the game, you want to play it again, it's perfect for you. And lastly, the game is playable on PlayStation TV. Looks pretty good on the TV. Obviously not as good as the PS4 version, but you get the handheld and the TV version for only like 12, 13. I'm not 100% sure how much the game is, sorry. It's, it's under $15, I'm pretty sure, which is just really awesome. This is just an off the cuff, like, review, sort of. It's not like my real reviews, if you've checked out other reviews on the channel. I just wanted to tell you about this game, get some information out there as soon as possible. So if you haven't played Ocean Horn and you love The Legend of Zelda, you should definitely play it on PlayStation Vita to support our favorite little handheld. I'm Brett Medlock. I will talk to you guys later.